last time we also looked at the knee slice. That's this is your go-to pass, but let's look at another thing Carl might do. Um, better than Irish, but do rather than just um, letting me hit the knee slice. So we just go over the knee slice again for those that weren't here. Again, that grip is a pushing grip, it keeps Carl away from this leg. I make my grip here. Uh, of course, I'm looking to close the underhook. We looked at last time, what does Carl want to do? He wants to kick up on the underhook, the half guard and all that stuff. So when I make this grip, I can preemptively bring my knee in. So if he actually tries to win that underhook now, it's not going to happen. And I keep him back for this, this post. But I'm looking to stay close. Even for me to knee slice from there, I'd be winning the underhook. Look how close I am. My head is into his throat. I'm sitting through, and then I'm in side control. Carl wants to create space. Anytime he's playing guard, he wants to create space. I want to fill the space. So once we get to um, this position and my knee comes up, Carl makes frames. He's got inside control, and he's shrimping this way. So he moves. Yeah, just your hips back. Yeah. And now there's a lot of space between us. So from there, we can switch to another pass. This is called the folding pass. I'm just gonna put my knee on the mat, and if he's pushing me away, that's fine. I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna drop my elbow to the mat, grab the pants, and just back step out of the knee shield, and then drag his knee this way. And immediately, I just pull it again into the side smash position. So there's gonna be three positions of his hands, okay? Carl is inside control. And his right hand is inside my left, and his left is inside as well. My free right hand is just going to hug his waist. Now, once I windshield wiper my foot, because I don't want to get snagged in the half guard, and then I windshield wiper with my left leg. As I move into side control, cards go to a move is to get to his knees and immediately sit back and pull guard. Okay, so we have to be aware of that. Again, against. Beginners, you won't need just moving windshield wiper will just give you side control, but we're training um, to be against better players. So from here, I make my grip, I grab the pants, that stops the half. This stops the underhook. From there, Carl's shrimping away and he's making frames. I immediately put my knee down, drop my elbow to the mat. And as I backstep, I pull the leg with me, and then I fill the space and come up into the side smash position. See the way the edges of my feet are on the mat, and I'm heavy with my hips. Now it looks as though you're, if you're in the mount yet, but I'm not, I'm corralling Carl's hips here. This is different from the mount. That would be the mount, but again, against good players, it's hard just to get there. And if you notice Carl's knees are in line with my knees and hips, still a halfway house position. So from there, before I advance to side control, I look to see where his hands are. So I know now, Carl, if I move to side control, his count is the turtle. So my left hand is going to grab the bicep and control that right elbow. When I windshield wiper with my right foot, okay, I switch, and as I move into side control and Carl's right the turtle, just that grip is going to slow down his movement. Once I get to there though, I mean, I advance to the mine, tagging on mine, start attacking the back. But to keep it just simple, my other hand's going to come in. And I have two hands rolling Carl back. Hug the head. 100 kilos. That's option one. So. From our knee shield half guard. Grip one. Grip two. Stop the underhook. Carl makes frames and sort of shrimps away and creates space. From here, I'm immediately dropping my knee down. I want inside control. I pull on my elbow. I do back step and drag Carl's leg with me, and I'm back up into the side smash position. Let's just say in the in the transition, Carl had an underhook on the outside. If that's the case, I just have to windshield wiper. I don't need to do anything. Because he's the underhook, and once I windshield wiper, windshield wiper, move into side control, he can't turn to his knees. Turn to your knees, car. The underhook stopping him. So that's the second option. We've got one more. From knee shield half guard. 
again, I make my grip, I make my grip, we're going for the number one pass, the cut cross pass, but again Carl's making frames, he's inside control, he's trying to move away from me, so that's okay, I'm going to go with it, I just drop my knee to the mat, drop my elbow to the mat, back step, drag his leg with me and then I come back up again to the side smash position. Being heavy with my hips, the edges of the feet are on the mat. This time though, Carl's arm is over my back. Okay, That can create a lot of problems when I move the side control on this side. And again, if I do grab this to try and control it, Carl's going to T-Rex his hand and keep his elbow tucked to his body. So if that's the case, I can dig with my hand underneath. Okay. My left knee is going to now fill that space underneath his right elbow. From there, you just step into the open part. Okay. Let's take it back to the start. So, one, or two, knee slice. Or then, besides what's happening, he's making his counter. I drop my knee to the mat, drop my elbow to the mat, back step, take him with me, and back up into the side smash position. Hips heavy are down. Now we're looking to see where his arms are. If his arms are on the inside, he make that grip. Windshield wiper, windshield wiper, as he moves to side control. Just to get on the back there as well. Okay, but we keep it simple. This one comes over and he just drag him back and put the weight on him. Option two. One, two, across, drop the knee down, a folding pass, fill the space, and it's, it's, it's got the underhook, it's there, it's just that. He can't go to his knees, he's restricting himself with the underhook. And option three, make my grips, make my grips. Knee slice, knee down, holding pass, back up. And this time, his arm is over my back. You got people trying to get into butterfly guard here. Carl just like, I'm going to keep your grip. Mm -hmm. Carl just kind of gets his back on the mat, and we're here. That, that grip over my belt is a very good position. So, there will be people trying to find those grips. So, when we're here, and that grip's over my back, and I can't control this because he's tucked it till his body. I'm gonna dig in and get my hand under his elbow. And once I walk that forward, my left knee will fill that space. Now again, I want to be particular before I step over because I don't want Carl bringing his um, left knee to his chest. As I step over, he's Can you see it? Yes, now. So before I step over, once I get my knee in, cross street spiritual again. There's nothing which makes someone not want to resist when you put them in the chiropractic position. Yeah, still that guys, yeah.